Uh, hi, my name's Jade. I am the assistant editor and assistant camera operator. And I am Olivier. I am the editor and one of the assistant directors. Um, so my role as assistant editor will be to sync the rushes, assist Olive in any way I can, um, which I guess means also editing alongside him. Um, and then for assistant camera operator, it'll be on shooting days, I'll be swapping out the lenses and stuff like that, just to help Brian, our camera operator. And for me, it's going to be about cutting the story together, making sure everything flows and is well paced and everything like that. And then on set, just making sure everything's running smoothly. Probably when we finally get to editing. I enjoy shooting days, but also I get very tired very quickly. So I'm quite excited to start piecing the story together properly in the edit, um, as much as I do enjoy shooting days. But I'm very excited to start editing finally. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the shooting day. It's always, it's very exciting for me. It's like months of uh, pre-production work that all comes together on the one couple of days. And then, yeah, it's like Jade said, it's, it can be quite exhausting yeah. once you're a few hours in. And then normally during the shooting days, I just can't wait to get the footage into the edit right away to just see it because you just get really just desperate to look at it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm mainly looking forward to the shooting day and then yeah, getting into the edit, getting started, getting cracking. Um, I think the biggest influence for this film is probably Gone Girl, which I know other people have already said, but um, it's, we take influences from the story as well, so it's similar, char similar characters, similar dynamic, um, you know, the husband and wife, and then there's somebody in between all that that's causing all the trouble. And then um, I'd say also the tone we're going for is also a thriller. So yeah, I'd say Gone Girl is probably our biggest inspiration in all this. Also been looking at uh, Nightcrawler. Uh, I really like the way that film is edited. It's, it's quite a, the film leaves you feeling quite uncomfortable a lot of the time. And I think the way, one of the ways they do that is they sort of let shots linger for a little bit longer than you'd normally get used to. Or they, they start building like a rhythm that you get used to seeing. And then they sort of break that at the right times. And I'd quite like to, to look into doing that sort of thing to help really accentuate the sort of, you know, the discomfort in the film that we're trying to get off. Discopia is going to be one of them films where you, you go into it, you're kind of, you know, you set up in quite this comfortable situation and then literally three quarters of the way through it just absolutely snaps it goes like off the rails completely um, I mean I know I didn't say it before but I think the ending scene is going to be what makes it because it is is going to be it's going to be wild um, but yeah the characters are really well developed they've all got an interesting dynamic between the three of them um, yeah I'm just very excited to get working on obviously the shooting days and then editing it. I'm just, I'm quite excited to just be involved in it all together. But yeah, mm. Go on yeah I agree with Jed. I think people should watch this film because it's, it's based around very real and very grounded characters that most people will be able to relate to. And it, the story is very tense and gripping. And yeah, at, at a point it's, it's very shocking as well. It's, uh, it's definitely gonna be worth the watch. So yeah, watch our film. <laughs>